Hi, this video is about you. Yes. So, I did some uh, research about uh, the Blender user. I'll show that later. And this is my conclusion. My conclusion is that before you start a Blender, you have in mind, uh, like, I want to create uh, a video or a game animation. And you want to have um, a version of the reality you live in, like uh, using the environment, trees, um, houses, characters. And you want to make a version of it uh, so you can say to the audience, like, look, this is what I mean, this is what I feel, this is what I want to express. So that is initially. But when you start to use Blender, you got sucked into um, tools, add-ons, tutorials, possibilities, because those are endless. So that means um, your initial plan was to make a game or a video, and you end up with short animations for like 10, 20 seconds, maybe for years, and you never came into a production. Uh, so, um, let's see my conclusion. Yeah, so maybe you are now focused on modeling or texture or shaders or maybe sculpting. Um, yeah, and then uh, you have all those uh, plugins that's supposed to speed up the, 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 the process. Um, let's, let me continue with the, the, my conclusion. So, and the chances are that you are interested in tech news about graphics cards, game development, programming, and other software. You are also interested in other software that helps you create stills and animation. Finally, there is a chance that you are an American living in California or Texas, and you are probably 20 to 40 years old. And let me show you how I come to that conclusion. So, um, let's jump over to this Excel file. And here you see the top tweets. Uh, I went uh, to Twitter. So here's Twitter. I, went, uh, I typed in um, Blender 3D hashtag. And I checked uh, 50 of those uh, tweets. And then what I see is, basically, I see a lot of showcases. Um, if we saw it here, uh, people are showing something. Um, and there are a few posts about uh, an update of an add-on or a tip by Jan van der Hemel, mostly. And what uh, people are showing, they are showing a short, uh, no, a short animation, often stylistic, uh, re sometimes related to games, not always. Um, yeah, or still, so just a, a render. It can be realistic or semi-realistic. Semi and that's, that's what we see on Twitter. You can check it yourself. Uh, let's uh, double check. So I think I press enter here. It will refresh. But those are the top tweets. So this is a uh, yeah, short animation, but it is using uh, the geometry nodes. Um, yeah, I call this a showcase, like, uh, look what I did. Um, related to gaming, short animation, I think. So you can check that yourself. You can check the tweets and check what you see. So let's go to the next one. This is uh, my website, it's the blenderaddons.org. And I can check in the stats um, what are the most visited uh, add-ons. So it's a website about uh, Blender add-ons. I can see uh, what people visit most often. Mm, the data is not that much reliable because it um, depends on maybe how much effort I use to uh, promote that article. But we see how the Blender uh, GIS add-on, and that is to import height maps and make a landscape of it. 
So, um, yeah, that, that is reflects here in um, that you want to recreate the world around you. Then we have the end panel manager, but that is here because, yeah, I addressed uh, um, a pain point in Blender, so you have a lot of add-ons, and then your end panel is full, and then, um, yeah, <laughs> that doesn't help uh, to be productive. So that's why I made an end panel manager, and I think people are interested in it because it addresses a pain point. Um, yeah, so let's just get this one because, yeah, it jumps out a bit. So, Blender gets add-on for creating environment uh, landscapes. Then, building tools to make um, houses pretty fast. Screencast, uh, screencast keys add-on that is, um, yeah, I think people use that to make tutorials. Modelo 3 add-on, so we see... Yeah, uh, landscapes, houses, uh, a tree, and then we see some more add-ons. So that's on my website, and we go to the, my YouTube. This is also interesting. Um, zoom to object. Why? Uh, when I started this video, so, so what I did, uh, wait, uh, what I did actually is I went to Google Trends before making that video, and I checked what people are interested, what people are searching for on Google. And then there was something that stands out, I uh, think, ah, that it must be interesting. If I do that now, I see MKV to MP3. I think if you are going to make a video now about MKV to MP3, then in a long period, um, the your uh, tutorial will will attract uh, quite some um, people. So that's what I did here. That's what I did with this one. Zoomed object. I found that in Google Trends. And when I started, um, people people seem not that too interested in the video. But over time, this is my best um, tutorial, and it addresses. Yeah, what people want to know, they type it in. So these are the pain points. Zoom to object and panel manager. And then um, I have here EV production suite. And that's what I think what is good for the Blender users. But people are not searching for it. So yeah, what I learn here is that if you look for trends for the pain points, what people are searching for, what they want to know, um, yeah, you see it here the amount of views, right? But here, this is what I think what is good for the Blender user, but people are not looking for it. Yeah, that's an important lesson. And yeah, animal and on me service. All right. So that's that. Let's go to uh, Blender Market Searches. Uh, I can log into the Blender Market website. I have an account there. I sell add-ons like that. And um, there is a page um, where you can see what people are looking for, what they are typing in the search bar on Blender Market. And you see, I'm not, it's not a surprise. People are typing free. A lot of people, but we know that in the Blender community, right? Um, so, what I don't understand is why are they searching the past 30 days? Um, about, uh, why are they searching for 2023? I cannot place it, but what I see all the time is people are looking for hair, city, human, tree. Car, character, grass, building. So if we go back here, we say that confirms. Uh, and that's how, how I came to that conclusion. We want to uh, replicate the environment, uh, have our own version, and show people, like, uh, look, this is what I want to express. 
Um, let's go to industries. There are a few uh, websites uh, you can uh, type in uh, blender.org uh, and then it will show you what companies are using Blender. Um, what surprised me is that I see education over here, education over here, higher education over here, technical and education. I didn't expect that because I thought that uh, the um, education was not that interested in uh, Blender. And we see that, we see that here in top tweets. Um, there was a tweet and it says, University tells students they never get a job if they learn Blender. So I cannot place that part that much uh, in the streets. Let's go back. But, okay. Um, so, higher education, uh, technology, we see that on top and not that much in like a marketing. Marketing, all right. Uh, right click select. Um, yeah, uh, right click select is a website where you can um, propose um, developments uh, for Blender. But there were too, ma too many different uh, things, and I thought, how can I cut categorize that? So, but it looks like it is um, a known node group, yeah, all kinds of things. So, we skip, we skip this. Sorry. Um, all right, LinkedIn, yeah, does not mm, that much engagement. There are a few uh, groups on LinkedIn, but. Um, yeah, and I think Twitter is a better place to look for that. Google Trends, in the past 30 days, we see that people are looking for, yeah, looking also interested. Well, we are looking at the related queries. So people are also interested in Natrum Stable Diffusion Blender. Um, last month I saw a lot of um, a post about it. Now it's a bit less, it seems. Uh, Powtoon, well, surprisingly, um, I, I thought that this is a tool for uh, for businesses. So um, people are also looking that. So the audience who is looking for Blender on Google, that audience is a part of that audience is also looking for uh, Powtoon. Then Inksca Inkscape Blender Kit Audacity, that's a new one, and that's good news for me because um, uh, I'm moving towards uh, audio production uh, and I combine that with Blender. So uh, last month I made the funky loops pack. Uh, works pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I will uh, deep dive into that. Um, all right. All right, YouTube search. So. Yeah, you can type in the search bar, you um, load uh, YouTube, you type in Blender, and then you start uh, A. So Blender A, and then you got that, um, how do you call that, uh, autocomplete uh, thing. And then, so I note that all, and what I see is here, Blender Basics for Beginners, Blender for Beginners, uh, Blender Donut. Um, a Blender tutorial for beginners. So those on top, and those are the most uh, searched ones. Blender Guru. And um, yeah, that tells me that a lot of uh, people are starting with Blender and then they are interested in um, animation. Well, if, I, if I look at this, uh, yeah, animation, uh, modeling, Etc. Then on Blender Stack Exchange, the most searches are animations, uh, animation, and rendering, and then modeling. So uh, tells me that um, altogether it tells me that when you start with Blender, you have in mind, oh, I'm going to make a movie, I'm going to make a game. 
And then you dive into Blender and then you see, oh, oh, yeah, um, let's go into modeling. So you do uh, modeling for a few months or maybe a year and then you think, oh, yeah, but if I render that out, uh, hey, there are also materials and there are some um, the, the textures. And if you had that, if you master the shaders and textures, then you realize, wait a minute, there's also light. The light is half the work, you think then. So you go into light uh, run, and uh, render settings. Um, then you go to um, co uh, compositing. So and then um, probably you maybe five years or six years later. And still you didn't make a movie or a game. So that's <laughs> uh, the story of uh, Blender. Um, meeting notes, I didn't complete that. I didn't, um, but uh, yeah, this month they, are, they worked on a user interface, real time compositor, cycles. Uh, it doesn't tell me much yet. Um, BA, latest news, yeah, there, if I go there, go to the website, latest news. I see quite some uh, posts about, uh, like your AMD um, uh, or render engine, I believe, uh, driver, um, graphics card, render. Yeah, related to hardware and uh, render. And uh, similar. Oh yeah, um, what uh, people are interested in um, programming um, and video games, consoles, uh, computers, software games news, and this is the age like that. If we go to the Blender Markt and look at what the top products are, and top products we see here. This looks like related to modeling, yeah, heavily, heavily related to modeling. Um, and then materials and animation and assets. So, um, we've seen a while ago, um, Blender Market, where is it? Blender Mark said, people are searching for this. Hair, city, human, tree, car, car to cross, building. But they end up buying m uh, modeling tools. All right, so um, I think this is it. I just want to have um, a gist, a gist of what, um, yeah, who is the Blender user? So I think it's very hard to find it out because, yeah, there is not much data. You have to collect all kinds of things and uh, what I, like what I did, and then try to find, um, yeah, a story behind that uh, data. And so my story, my, my conclusion is something like this. All right, so I uh, hope you found it interesting. And uh, I think the next video I'm going to make is about, yeah, there are sales uh, soon. So I'm going to promote uh, some of my products. That's what I think was going to happen. All right, thanks for watching and see you next time.